Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion.
I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? 
Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls that up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Some Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. Come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. Headed into town. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. Time full fast forwards whatever it touches, but it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges.
You may select partial delivery to submit required cargo currently in your possession and return with the remainder when convenient. Once the cargo submitted meets or exceeds requirements, you may designate the order complete at any time. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike and some cargo. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. You're running behind, but... The cargo is still alright. Good work. See you next time. Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Tuckerman said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges Corpse Disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. Come and take a look. He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with BTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that Kyrillium in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. Well, he's already. 
already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. It's Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. It freaks me out, too. Roll out! different when I was a kid. America was a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well pleased. No need for couriers like yourself. We had highways, airplanes. Hell, you could even visit other countries. Hard to imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Fucked us beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the time fall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. to the incinerator. This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're up to cut to the BTs. Get us out of here! Sam, you didn't see anything! No, nothing. <laughs> this BB must be busted or something.
Come! Shut up! Don't even breathe.
bridges falling down my fair lady Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. How does it feel to be back in the world of the living? Don't worry. I'm a doctor. Well, a coroner, originally. Call me Dead Man. I'm well acquainted with the dead. Not like you, of course. Contrary to the name, I've never actually died. I would advise against that. I'm no expert, but I can assure you it's for your own protection. See? So I'm a prisoner. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting-edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Oh, us. Yup. Bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. 
Try pressing it against your skin, like this. Relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflink. Look, look. The cuffs will watch over you 24 hours a day. That is to say, we will. We're here to help. What the hell? Two days? During that time, we took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. You're a repatriate. That makes you very special. What happened to the CD guys? Central Knot was obliterated in the Annihilation. Game over, man. Place is a crater. The only ones to get it continue were you, for obvious reasons, and your broken bridge baby. Is it all right? Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? Uh, we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team, HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central Knot City. We're at our base, in Capital Knot City now. Or should I say, our new headquarters. Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can do in two days. Things here are a mess. Fortunately, the director and his support team were out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. I hate to do this so soon, but I have a job for you. Huh. Uh, uh, this stencil is from when you repatriated? Uh, what's the other mark from? Clinging woman in a cave. <gasps> hmm. I see. Affenphosmphobia. No wonder you were out there alone, where no one could touch you. I'll try to be more careful, Sam. So, uh, the job is an urgent delivery. I need you to bring the president some morphine. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president is in the final stages of cancer, in critical condition, but there's still time. Why me? Look, Sam, do as I ask, and I promise it will all make sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. <sighs> Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And here oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. I'm actually over in the isolation ward in the big triangle building. Ah, here is the morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on, you got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. <sighs> the truth, Sam, is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Are you really about to say no? Very good. I'll see you in the isolation ward. Bridges. 
Access ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All clear. Welcome. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Delivery order for Sam Porter Bridges. Request transport of morphine to isolation ward for immediate administration to the president. Check the map on your cufflinks if you're lost, Sam. The isolation ward should be pretty obvious. If you're not sure how to get there, you can set markers and draw routes, too. Try it out and you'll see what I mean. Sam, if you want to confirm you're headed the right way, check your compass. It'll never steer you wrong. Provided you have a destination, that is. Central wasn't just home to Bridges HQ. It was also the seat of the Reconstructionist movement. If the President hadn't required special treatment, she would have never left. And if she hadn't, we wouldn't have either. signs are all trending the same way. No chance of a recovery then? None that I can see. No. We should start making preparations. Sam! It's me. Dead man. Sorry. My mistake. I'm afraid the President's condition has deteriorated. Thank you. This will help to ease the pain. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Her? The first and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. Take that off before you come inside. The President's right-hand man, the Director of Bridges. Die Hard Man? Oh, you were with Bridges One. So, I guess no introductions are necessary. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well, good to see you two. President's waiting. It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Madam President, we've brought Sam. <sighs> we 
We'll leave you two alone. Sam, I knew you'd come back. Are you doing all right? her three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help Amelie, she needs you. <laughs> Together, you you can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. We do. Alone, we have no future. No, America's finished. Bridget, you're the president of Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. <laughs> but, you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. <gasps> Madam President! Oh, no. Doctor, we need your help. Listen, no one can know that the president is dead. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Now what happened here does not leave this room, do you understand? Yes, Director, but there's still the matter of the body. Without corpse disposal. We've got that covered.
Sam, before she died, the President made a contract with you. What are you talking about? As a member of Bridges, you're gonna work with the rest of us to rebuild America. You think you can recruit me? Like she tried to? Well, she succeeded. Look at your wrist. If that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. Director, the cancer spread throughout her entire body. Harvesting organs is out of the question, and there is no need for an autopsy. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And if we don't, this place will turn into another crater. What do you want me to do? We don't have any porters right now. And the CD team you went into the field with are dead. But the President's body has to be burned. The road from Capital Knot City to the incinerator was compromised in the void out. Now, the only way there is on foot, through the mountains. But the chiral density there is off the chart. It's gotta be BTs. This job has requirements, tombs, repatriate. So me, why? Sam, you're already on the clock. Now get it done, Sam Border Bridges. President Strand believed in American Reconstructionism. She worked tirelessly to bring the nation together again. And without her, there would be no bridges. She deserves a funeral with full honors. But we can't give her that. If she dies, America dies. Without her, bridges will cease to be. Listen. Her cremation must be carried out with the utmost secrecy. Even if we pull it off, what then? Who's gonna take her place? Face it, America's history. Sam, America isn't dead yet. He just said that it dies if Bridget dies. She may be lost to us, but we still have an America worthy of the presidency. I'm sorry, what? Let's not get into it now. What matters is that we're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. That's the reason Bridges exists. So take the first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. If we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. I love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. The facilities to the southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. We built the incinerator way up in the mountains so that the chiral matter in the smoke wouldn't reach the city. It won't be easy carrying a body up there. We'll be monitoring you around the clock. If anything comes up, we'll offer you support by the cufflinks. I don't think I need to remind you, but 
Every minute counts when transporting corpses for disposal. 48 hours following cardiac arrest, they go necro and become a fresh PT to make our lives hell. President Bridget Strand was the symbol of American Reconstructionism. Even with the country shattered and its people scattered to the four winds, she never stopped believing they could be reunited. People held on to their hope that America would rise again because they believed in her. We believe that this country can be rebuilt. America lives on, together with Bridget's undying spirit. Have a pleasant journey. Yeah, yeah, just like that. incinerator will be anything but easy. Move around and change the angle of your map to gain a better understanding of the terrain. See if you can't pick a path to your destination. For this order, we've provided you with a number of suggested routes as well. Ultimately, though, it's up to you to decide how you want to proceed. First of March, it's clear to me There's something that's uncomforting Your body ain't away with me But I'm exactly where I wanna be But I'm a long way from home
further now.
city is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Must be from the bodies we couldn't get up to the incinerator in time. Comes with the territory, I'm afraid. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure, but the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea.
It's a miracle either of you made it back. When someone with Dooms hooks up to a BB, your feelings and memories cause feedback, like with the speaker. It amplifies fears and stress, and runs the risk of taking you to a place from which you will not return. I'm sorry, but this BB has been pushed beyond its limits. This puzzle is the only option. Sam, get cleaned up and come to the President's office. We need to talk. Sam, I thought I told you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in chiralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the President. It's almost time to go, Sam. Here. It's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Good morning. 
morning, Sam. Sam, this is Di Hardman. There's a private room set aside for your use. Bridges perk. Take a moment to clean up, wash all that chirelium off, then come to the president's office. You did well, Sam. Thank you. Now, Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam, you're here too. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then, about reconnecting everyone and everything? Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll reestablish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No. I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of bridges won. And went west. Traitors in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw them coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA, and we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenaut City. All the way to the Pacific? Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Taken? 
I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave them be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. They're extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force, by men who tell them what to do, who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. Would you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together, to form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the chiral web. Take the Cupid west, Sam and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! <laughs> Hold on. Stop! Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been completed. Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. For once it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. Or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another.
Sam. Listen, you are Sam Strand. No, not, not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, Strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Thousands of miles away. But our bond still holds. You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. Sam, this is Di Hardman. You were out like a log. Must have been beat. Private rooms come with all the basic amenities. Shower, toilet, etc. Drop in when you need to rest. Inspect your gear, review info, or whatever else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff. But before you do, why not check things out for yourself? See how Bridges operates these days. Sam, Hartman here. Researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding, as well as those of dudes and repatriates. When you relieve yourself, a certain amount of chiral matter is flushed from your system. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as, in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. 
Chirelium contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Chirelium and your overall health. Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just the best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database, which has info on a range of subjects. You don't have clearance for everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative. This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel, red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. Hey there. Believe we've met. I oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the way, but for identification, too. Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood. Well, have you had a chance to think it over? 
chock full of Kyrelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your Cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm.
Sam, this is Die Hartman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the Cupid. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Sam, even the best porters have been known to lose their cargo. But you're better than the best. You've got what it takes to finish what they started. If you come across any abandoned shipments, consider taking them to their intended destination. It's easier than you might think. See, all our packages are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Ojo deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying that that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Remember, Sam. Every parcel is a promise made to a person in need. And they're counting on you to deliver. Sam. Well-placed ladder can get you safely across most rivers, you know. Maybe try using the one we issued you. Sam, remember that prolonged exposure to timefall damages cargo containers. Don't stay out in the rain any longer than you have to. Sam, if you come up 
against a sheer cliff or a steep slope, don't forget about the ladder we issued you. Be sure to try it out. I'd be interested to see what use as a seasoned pro like you might find for it. Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Cargo verified. Thank you.
delivering cargo. Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. The Oxytocin will take the edge off and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. Second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were gonna connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years! And they sent us one guy who... Shit, shit, shit! Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true? I finally got it working? Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? But you'd put us on the goddamn grid? Not city confirmed. It's really happening. <laughs> Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. Guess you'll keep on till you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway. You best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first, Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Your hard work's paying off, Sam. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. Sam, you can use that PCC to build a post box.
private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. box you'll need to use a PCC. It goes without saying, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one.
paid. Move. Now, before someone has eyes on you. Get to your destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. <laughs>
ันนี้Thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west, and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work.
Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. 
No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't gonna get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research, as it happens. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry relic, dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the Death Stranding but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo Network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. 
Might make for interesting reading. Curiosity. How's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, bleed-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Pirelium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints, surrounding rocks and debris. 
tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order assigned. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Weapons restrictions lifted. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Excess Cairo crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These look. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is, 
can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Restrictions lifted. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. of the post box containing our cargo. Your drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise.
Shoes holding up. Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New, new order available. Please. Thank you. 
We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. We're issuing you a Mazer gun. This close-range, non-lethal weapon incapacitates hostiles with a powerful electrical burst. Bear in mind that it requires battery power to function. You should visit the firing range to familiarize yourself with it. Use the terminal to head to the range whenever you like. Access it to submit additional materials. Sam, looks like you found the site. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional... Sorry, Sam. I can't allow you to build a structure there. Pick a spot outside the sensor ring and try again. Weapons restrictions lifted.
Whoa. He's toppled over. There we go. Nice.
keep it cool. distro center via the chiral network. Other places too if it works. Here's hoping the UCA can put our electricity to good use. Mind if I have a look? Incredible. How'd you get this here? You fly? All we need now is a connection to the chiral network. Go for it. Source and every structure you build consumes it. However, as you increase your connection level, the bandwidth available to you will increase as well. About time we did our part. Thanks again. You know, I heard the rest of your team was wiped out. Makes what you're doing all the more incredible. Your one-man expedition. I hope Amelie's doing as well as you. Wonder if she made it to Edgenot City yet. It was her that put us in charge of the wind farm. I was with the group bringing up the rear while Amelie led the way. I've never met her in person. But it was an honor to travel with her all the same. When you see her, feel free to tell her I said so, huh? Sam, got a moment? I ran an experiment with your blood. It seems you were onto something. After dispersing an aerosolized sample of your blood in BT territory, we observed reduced activity. 
While this is hardly definitive, as we have no other repatriates to whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest that the bodily fluids of repatriates are repellent to BTs. Mama had the idea of developing a weapon to test this theory. The prototype should be ready soon, and when it is, we'd like you to test it. Sam, this is the perfect opportunity. We've almost got the whole region on the Cairo network. All that's left is Port Knot City. Return to Capital Knot City so you can pick up relief supplies for Port Knot. By the time you arrive, we can give you the completed prototype in person. One other thing. It's not very often porters get out to that wind farm. While you're there, you should pick up any outstanding orders. No sense coming all the way back here empty-handed if there's work to be done. Have a look at that delivery terminal. Good work. New order available. Please have... By handing over excess materials to a facility, you can increase the amount stored on site. Now these materials can then be used later for equipment fabrication and so forth. Just remember that each facility has separate stores and that the amount on hand differs from site to site. Don't get carried away. Sam, you're cleared to take on open orders. While they're not as high priority as the ones specifically assigned to you, if you're already heading a certain way and you have room to spare, it couldn't hurt to do a little more, right? Just because they're not mission critical doesn't mean they're not important to someone. So why not do a good deed or two? That's a request for material transport. By helping a facility replenish its stores, you'll gain access to a greater share of the materials on site. Give, and you shall receive. Hey, great work. That wind farm you've brought into the network is essential for our continued expansion. By way of reward, I've added a little something to your PCC. A generator option. Generators recharge the batteries of all nearby devices. That includes machines, bikes, and other battery-powered vehicles. 